Okay. So, um, .NET 7, what is it? By the way, if you have not watched the videos from the .NET Conf uh, 2022, it's on YouTube, it's on Twitch, um, even linked to on, on learn.microsoft.com. Just, just go and watch them or watch them at double speed. Um, but anyway, what is it? It's another short-term release, going to be supported for 18 months. It is a drop-in seamless upgrade from .NET 6. So if you have if you have code that's .NET 6, it is super quick, like less than 20 minutes to upgrade from .NET 6 to .NET 7. Um, and uh, some of the key features, actually the biggest, biggest, biggest key feature in .NET 7 is performance, all right? Um, I don't think that you're gonna upgrade to .NET 7 just because of the lesser features, but you will upgrade to .NET 7 because of performance, um, just a, a huge jump. Um, and there's some ARM64 perf uh, improvements. If, if you're in that space, there's perf improvements that uh, affect uh, WebAssembly and MAUI. If you're doing Blazor WebAssembly or if you're doing Android, iOS, or, or Mac applications with MAUI. And then if you want C Sharp 11, then you're going to go to .NET 7. The most interesting thing in C Sharp 11 is generic math. Now, they call it generic math, but what it really is is, and I'm not going to go into the language, I just want to highlight this real quick, static virtual methods in interfaces. It used to be that to create operators in your classes, if you wanted to, say, enable implicit assignment from a string to a custom number type, you needed to implement the equals operator, the assignment operator that kind of did the parsing under the covers. And that's a static method in the C-sharp language. Well, interfaces have never had static methods. Well, now with C Sharp, you can add static method definitions on interfaces. And then when you apply an interface to a class, that class automatically gets new static methods and the implementation is on the interfaces. And so for operators, and of course, math is tons of operators, that is hugely important. So um, give that a go. I am a I am a fan and an advocate of adding um operators and type converters and really using the full type system in your C-sharp objects and truly going object oriented. Um, it makes the code just read so much better. So C-sharp 11 is, is uh, that, that generic math is pretty interesting. And then uh, .NET.exe publish for containers um, was also announced and it hasn't been integrated in lots of places. So I think some other tooling needs to catch up, but it, it was announced. All right, so that's .NET 7. That's probably the, it's probably the, I'll show it to you, but that's probably the least significant of what we're going to cover today. 